This year's International Day for Disaster Reduction is an opportunity to tell the world a good news story. A story about how your community has become a safer place to live because of action taken to reduce the risk of loss of life. Earlier this year, over 660 people died as a result of an earthquake in Ecuador. The country's president, Rafael Correa, commented, everything can be rebuilt, but lives cannot be recovered, and that's what hurts the most. Despite many successes, there are still far too many lives being lost in predictable events because of inadequate early warning systems, a lack of enforcement of building codes, and a failure to learn lessons from past events. It is also critically important to grasp the growing impact of climate change, not just on extreme weather events like storms, floods, and drought, but also its links to the spread of disease, food insecurity, and even conflict. The focus of this year's International Day on October 13 will be on reducing mortality, which is the first target of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the global plan for reducing disaster risk and disaster losses adopted last year by UN member states. Over the next seven years, the focus of International Day will be on one of the Sendai Framework's seven targets for reducing disaster losses and strengthening disaster risk management at national and local level. The Sendai 7 campaign, Seven Years, Seven Targets, starts this year with the slogan, Live to Tell. We want to feature your stories about resilience and saving lives in the weeks before International Day. These stories will be featured on our website, unisdr.org, and the best submissions will be recognized as Sendai Target Champions for Reducing Mortality. If you are making a difference for your community, look at our website for details and please get in touch. We really do want to hear from you. Your ideas and actions could help someone else facing a challenge that you have managed to overcome. Thank you.